Well, hello, all my tater tots. <clears throat> I'm glad you're tuning in for another video of the day. Hey, Willie Dean here. I, I'm not going to say I'm trying to be all professional, but I did give some thought into what I'm going to talk about today. Go back to my young days, teenager. Back in high school, I used to go joyriding in my mom's station wagon at night. <laughs> I used to go pick up my friend and sometimes a couple of his friends, so it'd be anywhere from two to four of us. We'd go out and just go joyriding and park somewhere and just get high as a kite back when I did that shit. And we take off for riding around. I pick up, I think it was three of us total. Me, my main friend, the one I always had the weed. I never bought it. I smoked with him. And two of his friends. So we go out, just riding as usual, just kind of exploring. And we're trying to think of someplace new. We had this one regular spot we always went and parked. And I was trying to think of something different. So I drove around, drove around. I went out in this area I wasn't real familiar with. I, in fact, never, I don't even think I've ever been there. So I'm just driving out and I'm going out this one kind of a back road. And finally, I just know I'm wasting all my mom's gas and they're going to notice like half a tank of gas going or something or whatever. So I was like, here's a good spot. So I just pull in a park. <sighs> I'm already half fried by there. We already been smoking. So we pull in this spot. We like to part, roll up the windows and just clam bake and just get high as a cat. So we get there, find a little spot, it's off the road. I can pull back a ways off the road a good fifty feet or more. A little park like a turnaround area or something was there. So I pull back, pull back in there, back all the way to the back of that. And we proceed to start passing around joint. So I think we're on our like second joint or something on top of the one or two we already smoked. I mean, we smoked like crazy. It was ridiculous. We could smoke ourselves straight. So it was nothing to sit and smoke like 10 joints back to back. And... <clears throat> We just sitting there smoking away or bullshitting and just hanging out and like so I'm how does a kite man like golly about every 15 20 minutes or something like kind of on a regular basis every I don't even know I see a cop go by and then about 20 minutes later or something I see another cop go by and about another 20, 30 minutes later, another cop will go by. Most of them coming in, but occasionally one's going out and stuff. It's like two in, one out, whatever. And I'm looking, and way back in the distance, you know, it's night, it's dark. We're on this back road with not a lot of light in and everything. I'm looking, I'm like, where are these cops going? This ain't even a road. This is like a driveway or something. So it's like, where are they going? And I look and I see a building, kind of a shadow of a building or whatever. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, it's not lit up. It's, you know, it's not like this big lit up place. It just looks like somebody's garage or something. It just looks like a building there that's closed for the night. So we're sitting there for like a couple of hours and we just see cop and the cop and the cop and the cop. We'd seen a dozen drive by us and out of nowhere, just like my brain woke the fuck up, come up out of this fog or something. Like I started smoking myself straight or something by this point or somewhere I could think again. 
And I'm like, holy shit. Guys, we're in a freaking police parking lot. That's why we keep seeing all these cops. And they start flipping out. They're like, oh shit, what the hell? God almighty, I gotta get rid of these weeds. They're gonna arrest me and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, calm down, calm down. Fuck, they've been by us a dozen times and nobody's come over here and talked to us yet or anything. So I think we're okay. Let's just get the hell out of here. So I start up the car. We pull down to the road. We take a lift to head back towards where we live and shit. And we start driving. We get the hell out of there. And nobody follows us. No lights hit on us. Nothing. So that was crazy as shit. We'd sit in a police parking lot for about two hours. Getting stoned off our ass clam bacon. If they, if they came over there and knocked on the window and we rolled down the window, we'd just been fucked. We looked like Cheech and Chong there. We'd just <laughs> flip out of the car and holy shit. Just kind of crazy shit you used to do. It's dumb shit. I was a minor back then. I mean, God, like I say in my earlier videos, I started dipping in crap when I was a child. And, yeah, that happened. I was driving a car, drove to other people's houses, picked them up, and joy rode around and parked in a police parking lot and started getting high as a guy. And I was like 14. <sighs> it's crazy shit. So, anyway, <laughs> that happened. Oh, man. It's a funny story, man. Like, I was in, like, by my mid-twenties or something. I, had, I just gave up on smoking. I couldn't even smoke anymore. It's like, marijuana did not do me right. Like, <clears throat> by the time I mid 20s or something, I know it's somewhere maybe 23 to 25 at the latest. I know by mid 20s, I just gave up on it. Because it was like when I did smoke, I was got to be less and less often by then. I mean, I pretty much quit when I was 20. <clears throat> and I just got paranoid. I got to a point where I was just sitting, I'm bug out, I'm looking around, I'm sitting and I'm checking my heartbeat. It feels like my heart's beating out of my chest and stuff or whatever. Like I'm just having an anxiety attack and I'm just being paranoid and I'm sitting and I'm keeping my head down. I'm being quiet and I'm checking my pulse. Like I'm going to die, I'm like, going to die. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I don't need this shit anymore. If that's all it's going to do, it's make me paranoid and I'm tripping thinking I'm going to die. What? That ain't fun. Fuck that. So I just quit for good and just, bleh, whatever. <sighs> yeah, it's a trip. Like, most everything I did, I did ask backwards. Like, you hear people... Oh, they didn't start partying until they were in their late teens, like through high school. And, oh, they didn't have their first drink until after they were 21. They were old enough to drink anyway, and all these type of stories. And just, you know, it's like I'd done everything under the sun, it seemed like, by the time I was 21. It's like I quit when I was 21 instead of the other way around. Or cut severely back like I was just doing stuff normally like once a month or once a week or occasionally by that point instead of almost every damn day like I did when I was in my teens it's like holy crap I remember sitting in the back of alternative school class it was a new program at the time 
they had this alternative school that we could go to to keep from getting sent off to a group home and stuff. We were so stupid and wild and shit, we didn't give a shit about nothing. <coughs> We'd sit in the back of the class, me and a couple of guys, and this guy had some weed, and he's like, well, let's just eat it. My brother says you can get just as high eating it as you can smoking it, so... Guy had like an ounce of pot, and we're just sitting and eating an ounce of pot throughout class, which didn't do shit. It was either garbage weed or it's true, it just don't work when you eat it. Just dumb shit. I mean, golly. I can get into so many stories, but I'm only gonna pick out good ones because hell, everybody's got stories from when they were young, so it's like, whatever. So yeah, on this one I was smoking in the police parking lot and getting away with it. So I hope you enjoyed, you tater tots. Hope y'all watch me and like me and comment, tell me how I'm doing, whatever, I don't care. Just hope everybody likes me and I'm making decent content y'all can enjoy. I know I'm slow. I don't get on here and <laughs> but that's just not my thing. So again, anyway, later taters. Bye.